Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with my 2021 lineup and I've actually already filmed this, but I changed some stuff so I just wanted to refilm it before I even tried to edit and put it up. But I'm going to be talking about my Franken planner, my mini planner, another like journaling planner, and then my budget and recipe planners. So we'll just go ahead and get into this side of things since it'll go a little bit quicker and then we'll jump into these since there's a lot to show you in these two. Alright, so the first thing that I have that I'm so excited for is my recipe planner. And this recipe planner is new. I do have an old one. It's like the OG recipe planner. It came in one of the box sets. I bought it probably six or seven years ago so I've had it quite some time so I did want to get another one to add to that one because it's getting pretty full and I grabbed this one when it came in the bundle for the Black Friday Cyber Monday Happy Planner sales and I'm so in love with this it's so cute and I'm putting this in my lineup not because of just recipe planning but for the pages that I'm going to put in the back so I'm going to continue to fill this up I've already put a few pages in this but I'm going to continue to fill this up and then I'm going to make a few filler pages of like healthy snack ideas lunch ideas dinner ideas brunch ideas just different things that we can pick from when we're making the grocery list and the meal list every single week I feel like it'll make it so much easier to meal plan with all of those listed out just some of our favorite meals a bunch of different lunch ideas and stuff so I'm not fixing like pasta and chicken and veggies every single week for us for our lunches for work so I'm excited to have this in my lineup and then I have our budget planner and we wanted to add a budget planner to my lineup this year because I just wanted to get a hold on our finances. We wanted to stop spending so much money on random little things here and there. So we thought this would be the perfect way to kind of watch the account, see what we're spending, see what's going in and out, all of that stuff. This will track all of our bills when we're paying them, the loan for our car payment and how much we're paying it down each month, our savings accounts because we do have five savings accounts. I will go into that in a different video probably later. And I'm also tracking my planner budget this year. I am doing a planner low buy and it'll be $25 a month. I'm not allowed to go over that. If I go over it a couple of dollars or whatever, but that is what I'm going to try to stick to every single month except for July, which is my birthday month. And then obviously December, a lot of my gifts and stuff from my husband are planner supplies. So I'm gonna be tracking that in here as well. And I've already started this. I'm really enjoying it. My husband's written in it as well with like goals and just different things like that. So number two in the lineup is the budget planner. Number three is this Bloom Daily Planner Horizontal Softbound Cover Planner. I have used Bloom planners before and I really like them specifically for all of their goal setting pages. They're all in the front and they come in all of their student ones. They come in the vision planners. They come in these planners. They just are really focused on goal setting and I am going to goal set in this a little bit but this planner is actually going to live on my nightstand so I'll just be able to journal, jot down random things in this. It'll just be kind of like a dump all for in the evening and I've never had a planner like that so I thought it would be pretty cool to add that to my lineup. I don't know if I'll stick to it. I don't know if I'll write in it every day. I probably won't but I do think I'll enjoy having this in my lineup and like I mentioned it'll just live on my side of the bed with a pen and I can just pull it out whenever I want to and then I have these two I have a Franken planner and then I have this little guy right here which is my social media planner so we're going to go through that one first I actually combined two planners to make this so I had the what is it called the pink is the new black it's the dashboard layout that is really really plain has no color except for this little dude right here i love that planner but i also love the squad girls line i really wish they would come out with some dashboards for this line i would love it i've only ever seen vertical planners from this line but hopefully in the future they will do dashboards but i combined two planners to make this so I'm just going to go through kind of what's in here and all the little bits and pieces so I just have a little clear pocket in here I have a couple of cute little cards that is my business card back there for work and then I have some little drop freebie stickers from cloth and paper and then this little twa bean vinyl is from sweet bean plans and then I have this little folder pocket thing right here from the Disney collection and it just has some Sweet Bean Plans stickers in it. I do need to put more stickers and like change this up though because this used to be my catch-all 
planner but I changed it to my social media planner for this channel my new blog that I just launched all of that so I need to put some different stuff in there and then I have this little page protector and I just keep some stickers and die cuts and vinyls in here. So these two are from No White Space stickers. These two are from Creativity and in Ink. And this is from Paper Bow Print, which is no longer open. And then this little card right here, I punched it. I actually got this in a cloth and paper order that I placed a few months back. And this is the beginning of this planner. I love this. The reason I combined two planners is because I took all of the like front pages from the squad goals planner and put them in here. And then I took the currently pages, the dashboards, and the monthlies from the squad goals planner and I added it to the layout from the pink is the new black. So that just kind of continues for all of the months and I just used a tape runner to combine everything it's really easy so this is like my dream planner if I could have the squad goals and have a simple dashboard layout I would buy it every single time because I love the way it turned out and then if we flip to the back I have a couple of the dividers that came in the squad girls notebook so I have this and I have some daily pages from cloth and paper and they are dated but let me show you guys kind of what I do with those so I just usually cover up the date and just decorate them a little bit and it makes them usable for any time of the year. So I just keep a few back here just so I can pull them out, decorate them and use them when I need them. And then I have another divider and then I just have some random sheets of filler paper back here. So that is my mini planner. Love it. And like I said, I'm going to use it for social media planning. And now I have my classic catch-all and work planner. So I have a vertical in here and a dashboard. And I have four months of each in here, but it's already getting kind of full. So I need to take the fourth month out of both planners and just store it for now. But I do have the dog lover planner. And then I have this one right here for my dashboard. I actually bought this one as well, but I wanted to use my dog lover planner. I'm obsessed with it. So I'll probably end up using that one for next year but we'll just go ahead and dive right into this so i love having little pockets on the side and stuff in the front i'm just it's my jam i love decorating so these little pockets are disney themed and they're from the Honey Bee shop and then i just have some random freebies and stickers in here these two die cuts are from Sweet Bean Plans, and then these die cuts are from Planning with Jazz, I think. I'll have everything linked down below. And then I have another one of those little um, envelopes that snap in, and I just have some random sticker sheets in here. So I have Sweet Avis Paper, um, Sticker Oki, bpd shop which she does some true crime stuff and i love it a cute cut craft made it with southern love just a few random sheets i have a ton of sticker sheets from all of those shops so i just keep a few of them in here let me see if i can get it to go back and then i have this little reading tracker right here and this was actually a sticker but i just put it on a piece of filler paper and punched it and i do have a printable for this as well whenever i run out of room but i'm just filling it up as i go with books that i read i actually got this from popco i don't know what her new printable shop is called but i will have it linked down below and then here is the first page to the dog lover planner open this up this will be my one little word for the year but i'm waiting on my vinyl sticker so i can decorate this page and then here are my 2021 goals i haven't put anything on these pages yet and then we're going into the monthly so i'm just decorating this monthly normal like putting bills and important things to remember and then i have a little monthly bucket list and then a little bookmark to put in here to save the spot of this monthly and i actually bought another monthly extension pack so i could do like a memory of the day type monthly i've done that before in planners and i absolutely love doing it so i wanted to do it in here but i didn't want to use this monthly so once that gets here i ordered it yesterday but once that gets here i'm going to put it in here i'll just put one or two months at a time but i have four months of this planner and this is my current week right here and then i have these little guys right 
right here in my week that I'm using and all this is is the little plastic part that came on the mini planners and then I just put some stickers on it and these are stickers from Bloom Daily Planners and then there's my four months of that and then we'll go to this first divider right here which is a wrong wrong divider and this is my work planner and I do work in social media and marketing so I have to have a lot of space to write things down and remember, you know, what to do and paydays and when social media posts are and newsletters and all that kind of stuff. So I have four months of that and we'll go to the second divider. And then I just have a bunch of filler paper in here. I'll probably take some of this filler paper out. I feel like I don't need all of this in here, but I did want to grab a little bit of every type of filler paper that I had. And then back here with this third divider is going to be all of my filler sheets that I create. And I have not created a ton of them yet, but I do have this one from a couple of years ago that I made. It's a hurricane prep sheet and we go through hurricanes every single year. Like I mentioned before, I live on the coast of North Carolina. So it's literally an every year thing. Some of them are worse than others, but I like to have kind of an overview of things I need to remember websites that I need to go to to track things just all kinds of stuff like that but yeah that is it for my 2021 planner lineup if this ends up changing sometime over the next few months I know it'll change in July because this planner will run out but if anything changes I will do update videos let me know down below in the comments what you're using for 2021 and you'll find all the links to everything that I mentioned down below as well as in the blog post and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you guys in my next video video.